Listen up. We're doing something a bit different today. I'm going to do a Genshin Nuzlocke, which basically, if you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, a Nuzlocke was created by Pokemon gamers. I'm sorry, I don't know exactly who, but basically it's this idea where you play Pokemon and if a Pokemon in your party dies, you can't use them. You have to release them. You can't go revive them or anything. Like, they're just off the roster, okay? So how are we gonna do this in Genshin? Well, I thought about it. And so here are the rules. First rule, I can only have one party. I have about, I think like 30 characters. That's too many. So I'm gonna make one team and I can only use that team. Rule number two, if somebody in that team dies, I have to swap them out and I can't bring them back or use them again at all. Rule number three, I'm putting this rule for myself, no food and no statues of seven. So the only healing I am allowed to have is the healing within my own party. And rule number four, if I don't make it through all of the world bosses, I fail the challenge. I think that about covers it, so let's get into it. All right, we're going to be fighting every open world boss from the top of Tevat down. So first of all, I'm going to teleport up here and I've got to make my party. I've got to be very careful with my choices here, but I think I already have an idea of the team comp I want to use. I know I need a Claymore just right off the bat. I know I need a Claymore. So I'm thinking I'm going to use Noelle. Because if you see, I have just a few fully leveled Claymore characters and Noelle is the only one who's built because she was actually my first main in Genshin Impact. Not only that, but Noelle is also going to heal. So that's going to be essential. I kind of want to keep Xian Yun because aside from the Animo Cube, I'm going to be able to use her for everybody. And I feel the same with Raiden. So that just leaves Nahida. Now, Nahida is amazing. I love her and she does a lot of damage, but here's the problem. Later in these bosses, there is a boss that needs a bow character. But if I kill it fast enough, the bow is kind of a suggestion. I think I'm gonna take the risk and keep Nahida here. This does mean we only have one reaction happening here, but hopefully it'll work out. Okay, I fully healed everyone and uh, let's get started. I know this is outside of my normal realm of content. I do a lot of series things. And while my series are typically challenges in and of themselves, I wanted to do something that's more of a spontaneous challenge and just for fun and like a little one and done thing instead of a super long-term in-depth challenge. Also, can we talk about what is up with this boss? Because we all know how at one point it's like, oh, do this to prevent it from reviving and then it revives anyways. Like, why did you have to lie to me? I'm not a fan of Dio units, but I will forever love my Noelle. No, Noelle. Well, what are you doing? Oh, okay, shield came in clutch. Oopsies. One down. I actually don't know how many bosses there are in this game, so I don't know how many guys I'm gonna be fighting today. But I do know that the Cryo Red Divine is next, so I can get on over here. I wish my Noelle was strong enough to just one-shot the Cryo Red Divine from up here. Let's see how much damage she does. Not that much. <laughs> Alright, I think it's possible for me to break the Corolla, but I don't think it's easy. Ow! Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage already. Noelle to the rescue, and everyone's full HP already. Alright, go right in. Boss number two complete. It's been nine minutes. I feel like most of that was spent talking to you guys. It's definitely not been nine minutes in total, but Electrohypostasis is next. I don't know if Xian Yun can break the crystals for the hypostasis, but I think Nahida can. However, I do know that Raiden is going to be useless here, so her time to shine. Xian Yun's time to shine. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you guys are like listening to this in the background while you do other things. I don't, I don't want to confuse you. You are not going fast enough. No! 
Oh, that's fine. Good enough, I guess. Yay! Boss number three all done. Oh, I don't know if I said this earlier. Weekly bosses are included, so I guess Storm Terror is next? I haven't done my weeklies yet either, so this is a good time. It's been a while since I've fought Devalin on my main account. I've been fighting him a bunch on my standard only account, and I hate fighting him on my standard only account. The real question is can I one cycle Devalin? Please tell me yes. Please tell me I can. Oh my god. We're halfway. I don't think it's a one cycle. No, I don't think it's a one cycle. No! Look at that! That is so close! Boss number four complete. Now, time for the wolf. I actually- I avoid fighting this boss by any means necessary, which unfortunately means I really need to fight him. <laughs> Thank goodness I didn't put any cryo characters in this team comp. I think I would be screwed. I am upset that I only have two ults up, but I can't fix it right now. Oh, wow. I'm doing a lot of damage. I did not realize how much damage I was doing. All right, this is going to be a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. All right, I'm just standing there. Don't push me away. Oh, God. <laughs> it just pushes me out of the way every time, bro. It's kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. There we go. Boss number six complete. And it just so happens to be a boss I need the drops of. And it gave me exactly what I need. Dude, it always feels so nice when you get exactly the right drops. On to the next one. Who is that? Oh, I guess it's Oceanid. Oceanid? O o Oceanid? See, I've been questioning how to say that ever since the Fontaine Archon Quest. Because in the Fontaine Archon Quest, they're always like Oceanid. I always just said Oceanid, and now I feel stupid for saying Oceanid, even though that's exactly how it's spelled. But I don't know, is there a right way to pronounce it? Am I pronouncing it wrong? It honestly feels like Nahida is just a cheat for this boss, because let me tell you, Hyper Bloom is just such an OP reaction. It makes my life so easy. Boss number six done. I took a little bit of damage this time, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. I think where I'm really going to start struggling is the later weekly bosses, specifically the narwhal. I am extremely terrified for the narwhal. I'm always doing that boss in co-op because I can't fight it alone. So I'm, I'm really worried. Ow! Oh my god, Noel. Noel. How did that- how did it revive? What? I'm so confused. Oh, well, <laughs> not for long. Boss number seven complete. We have Ajdaha, Geovisha, Pyro Regisvine, and then the cube. I'm kind of scared about Ajdaha. I'm not going to lie. So I'm not going to do him right now. Easy. Easy. Save the tough guy for last. My people are very low right now. I need to fix that. Excuse me, sir. Wake up so can I, I can fix that. It is going to take me a hot minute to break this dude's Corolla. Oh, oh wow. Oh, okay. Boss number eight complete. This is giving me confidence to fight Ajdaha, but I'm still so worried. I don't even fight Ajaha in single player to get his drops. I always fight him in co-op. I guess I just need to get good. I think that's the only solution that's viable. No, you're joking. It's Electro! Uh, good thing I have CT Raiden. I've got to be careful Noelle's shield here because her shield is going to save me from an attack. So I can't just use it whenever I want. Wow, okay, that was very easy. That should be boss number nine done. It's gonna be really annoying if I am off by one the entire video. So if I am, I apologize. This is going fast. We only have Ajdaha and the cube left. Hmm. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Is it cheating if I lower the level? Cryo and Pyro? That's wildly inconvenient. Is it cheating if I lower the level? I don't think so. I won't- I'll just do it a little less. Just a little less. You know? That's okay, right? 
I made the rules, I say it's okay. Dude, I'm always getting the cutscenes for weekly bosses, and everyone always tells me how they're not getting the cutscenes. But like, how? He's already absorbing the power of Pyro. Oh my god, I'm doing like nothing to him. Huh? He's already a third down though, so it really can't be that bad. Oh god, oh god. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Can I just run the whole time? Surely. I don't have ults up yet, this is scary. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I've got this. <gasps> oh, okay. That was exceptionally easier than I thought it was going to be. Boss number 10, done. And now boss number 11, who I know is gonna be super easy too. Come here, cube. I'm gonna beat you up. Okay, I'm gonna beat you up after I Beyblade all of your pillars. To oh my goodness. Okay. I can do this. I got him! What number is that? It's boss number 11 complete. And we're done with Liwa. Well, the main part of Liwa, not Chenyu Vale. Because I still, I still got this dude. Who I realize is going to be kind of difficult because the easiest way to fight him is by freezing him. Oh dear. Oh my goodness! Wait, we're not done with Liwe. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I almost forgot about Child. Hello? So the funny thing about Child is I actually only fight him in single player because nobody likes using good comps for him. <gasps> no! Wait, she's my best healer, no! Oh my god. Okay, that's not good. How did that even happen? What? Wait, no, I'm gonna start panicking. How did that even happen, bro? No. I can't believe this. That's so upsetting. On arguably the easiest world boss in the game, I lost my best healer. I'm gonna cry. What am I gonna replace her with? I could go for a reaction. I could do Nilu or Mona. So I'd have Hyper Bloom, because that way I would do more damage. Same with Hu Tao. This is annoying. My next best healer is Cookie. But I already have Electro. Do I really want more Electro? I don't think so. I could use Chi Chi. Chi Chi's bopping with heals. You know what? I think I'm gonna go Layla. Because that way, I have a guaranteed 100% uptime shield. So that was tragic, but... Boss number 12, done. Now we're done with Liwa, right? Right? Yeah, okay, now we're done. And to Inazuma, you know, the home of Raiden and Signora. Oh my goodness gracious. You know, just top to bottom. You're joking, where did you go? Why did you fly into the sky for my burst? That's incredibly rude of you, you know. Which one has the ring on it? Which one has the ring? I think it's this one. And then I should be able to finish this guy up. No, maybe not. We'll see. There we go. Boss number 13 destroyed. Still at full HP, but I guess after child, we know now that being full HP after a fight doesn't really matter at all. Next one, Raiden. With my shield and with my Raiden, I should be okay. But I said the same thing about child, so does that even really mean anything? Oh, hello there, Raiden. Isn't this eerily familiar? You're being rather aggressive, eh? And I don't appreciate it. There's an achievement for not getting hit by any of these. And I've never gotten it. See? I can't. I can't do it. Yay! Boss number 14 complete. All I'm learning so far is that I vastly underestimate how well I can do on my own. Which, I guess that's a nice little ego boost. But it's funny because all of these things were so, so difficult. Not that long ago for me. And I'm doing them again after, what, two months, three months, maybe like five months of not doing them. And finding that it is so easy. I guess that really does go to show that even if you don't feel like you're getting better at Genshin, you are. Either that or you just get good characters. 
I blame me on the good characters. I think this is just the characters carrying their weight. Is it the cold or just, or just cowardice? cowardice? I don't have pyro for you, but this should be fine, right? At least phase one was super easy. Please don't do the thing before I can... Please don't, please don't turn into a pyronado. No, bro. I hate this move, man. Now it's over so I can kill you, right? Ooh! 88,000 on that burst. Nicely done, nicely done. Now that is 15 bosses done. I have no idea how many more to go. Because the fact that we're done with two nations already doesn't really say much when they're the two smallest nations. But we can forget about that and just move on. Just move on. Hello there. I hate fighting this guy. Lila is the only thing I have against Pyro right now. Oh, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? Once I get you out of that Pyro shell, you're gonna be toast. I hope you know that. All right, here we go. Get out of it, get out of it. There we go. I got an achievement for that? Yo, just a Wonders of the World achievement? Oh, I hate you. Also, look, 990 achievements. I'll get a thousand eventually. But that was boss number 16. Where is number 17? Who is number 17? Kenki? I guess Kenki is 17. I fought this dude so much for Sayu. I never thought I would be here again, but look at me now. I think with two shields on, I can just brute force everything, but we will find out one way or another. I did not think I would get through Kenki that fast. Boss number 17 complete. You know, thank goodness I put Noelle in here as my Claymore character. Because fighting this guy without Geo is an absolute nightmare. But I can save that for when we get to it. I will fight the Hydro Cube next. Guys, oh my god. Look, secret tunnel. I remember when I was farming this boss for Kokomi. I don't have her, I just want her and I'm manifesting. I put a portable waypoint here so I could stop having to take that entire trip from the waypoint to this boss. Oh, you coward, I would have had you. I would have had you and you know it. Get out of your box. That makes 18 bosses. Oh my God, the burb, the burb is next. You know, Raiden is also useless here. I have a feeling I could do this entire challenge without an Electro character. I don't think Layla ever thought she would end up in this kind of situation. She's just trying to get some good sleep. There we go. Not gonna lie, that bird is kind of annoying to deal with without Raiden. But in the end, that is still 19 bosses done. Making some progress. Now this guy. I hate this guy. I don't know if everyone feels the same way about this guy, but when I first tried fighting this guy for my characters, I kid you not, all of my characters died and I had to message a, a whale friend to be like, hey, please beat this boss for me. I cannot fight it. And that whale friend came in and beat the shit out of this dude. And I was so grateful. Fast forward a few months later, I watched a tutorial on how to fight this guy, and um, it was really easy. It, it was really, really easy. So I think I'm just a little dumb, but that's okay. If you haven't fought this boss, it makes you bleed, which means you constantly take damage and you need Geo to fight it. Oh, I had one job. Tornado. If you just exit the circle like just enough, you're totally safe. Throw your doggies up so I can stun you, please. Now, keeping my ultimate would have been very helpful, but no. Okay, the bleeding is honestly kind of concerning, but I think everything will be okay. Especially if I get my ult here in a sec. Oh, and that doesn't keep happening. Hello? Oh my. I've really got to avoid getting bled again. Okay, Noelle, thank you so much for that. Noelle... Oh, no, no, no. Layla, please. please. Please, 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 please. If I bleed one more time, I'm screwed. No, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. No, that's two of my people. Oh, no. 
That's just Noelle and, uh, yeah, everyone else is about to die. And the boss reset! Um, okay. Well, Noelle died. She is both my healer and my Geo character, so I've got to pick my battles now. Do I replace her with a Geo character to fight this boss, or do I replace her with a healer? Oh, boy. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. I'm going to replace her with Sayu, and now I know what you're thinking. I literally just talked about how it's impossible to fight this dude without a Geo character. It's not impossible, per se. It's not recommended. However, Sayu is a great healer. And I'm just gonna go fight something else in the meantime. Just something else. I don't care what, just something. Electro Regisvine is kind of a pain, so I don't really wanna fight that. Let's do the Dendro Hypostasis. And I'll just wait for another character to die, replace them with like Ning Wong or something, and we'll be okay. Like if Nahida dies after this guy, we're set. I do just need Sayu to get her burst. Is that her burst? Oh, Sayu, how low is your energy recharge? I genuinely thought I was about to not make it out of there. Oh my God, she does not heal that much. It's my fault, I haven't built her very well, but I'm gonna need that burst a few times to make it like even remotely worth it. If Sayu got her burst back as fast as my Raiden got hers, then I don't think there would be an issue here. The Golden Wolf Lord might have been a mess, but at least we have 20 bosses done now. I think I'm gonna fight the Aeon Blake Drake next, but this is the one I was talking about earlier that you need a bow for, but if you kill it fast enough, you really don't. I still have my two strongest characters, but the team comp is quite a bit different than how I was planning on fighting this guy. So hopefully it's not an absolute disaster. I know I said I'm gonna go back to the Wolf Lord later, but I have a feeling I'm gonna, I'm gonna face my defeat there. No. Yo, okay. Layla shield coming in clutch. That is 21 bosses done. I didn't realize how many bosses Genshin has. It makes complete sense, but counting them all is like, wow, that's a lot. This dude is the bane of my existence. Even now, I've been trying to fight it for Dory. It's horrible. And I think the easiest way to fight this guy is Pyro. So I think this is just gonna be a nightmare. Oh, I didn't realize it's not totally immune to Electro. Oh man. Nothing like one cycling an Electro boss with Raiden. That's number 22. I don't think it's time to go back. I'm gonna be honest. However, it might be time for a different realm, if you will. Hopefully this is easy. I do have a Claymore, so I should be able to manage regardless. But the Vicious Herds do a lot of burst damage, so it's kind of scary. I've seen videos on TikTok of people one cycling these guys, and it's insane. Oh my god, wait. No, I accidentally sped up this move because I beat one. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm kind of an idiot. Dude, I don't ever fight these guys, and it shows. Man, even though I messed it up horribly, I still got them, so that's 23 done. Which, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of scared for these guys. Not even kinda, I was really scared for these guys. But man, the only one I wasn't really scared for, Child and the Wolf Lord, are the ones that have me up so bad so far. I'm underestimating them and I shouldn't be. Easy peasy. I guess I gotta use Sayu more for fighting this boss because I've been fighting it a lot for, not Goro, who needs this boss? Hazo, I've been fighting this boss a lot for a Hazo. And I think that's the fastest I've done it. And it also means 24 bosses done. Unknown amount of bosses to go, probably an excruciating amount, but 24 done. And we've got both of the areas outside of Tevat done. We've got Ankonomiya and the underground mines done. So that's kind of huge. 
I forgot to unpause my recording, so enjoy me one cycling scaramouche while underwater. I'm so sorry about the audio. My clips have all been sounding like this even though my settings haven't changed. But hey, at least I'm looking cool. Okay, I, um, note to editing self, I have a clip of everything I just did that I need to import. <laughs> That's all. I am okay with fighting the chicken next. I'm a little worried because I normally use pyro to fight this guy as well as electro. Hopefully everything will be okay. Never mind, everything was perfectly okay. That is 26 bosses done. On to the wee nut. Honestly, with the wee nut, I'm just waiting for it to do its like swirly thingy ability because I can easily knock it down from that and then it'll be a quick win. A quick W, if you will. Oh, this is the ability. This is it. There we go. Quick win, and that is 27 bosses done. I think it is perfectly time to go fight that triangle over there. Rolling into battle. Man, I did not think the triangle was going to be that fast, but that's 28 bosses done. That took me like a minute. I think it's only right that we go in order. So I think it's time that we fight a pep. Although I will say... I don't want to. This is yet another boss I always fight in co-op. I do know, no matter if it's easy or hard, it's gonna take a while. So, strap in. Phase 1 is already complete though! I've still got phases 2 and 3, but phase 1 complete! Phase 2 is already done, oh my gosh! Honestly, if this is how this boss is supposed to go, I might start fighting it in single player instead of co-op. You did not just completely dodge my burst. I'm so tired of this. Wow, okay. Honestly, with 29 bosses now done, I think I'm gonna start fighting this boss in single player instead of co-op because that was so much easier and so much faster. Again, one of the bosses I was really, really worried about ended up not being a big deal. Who would've known? Now, the Baptist isn't necessarily a hard boss, but the hardest thing about it is that it's different elements. Electro, Cryo, and Hydro? You're joking, bro. You're joking. It couldn't have picked three worse elements. Seriously? All right, bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Thank goodness Electro at least kind of works against Cryo. You know, I have to say, I thought that was gonna take a little longer. It ended up taking like a minute and a half. So, you know what? A win is a win. Also, that's 30 bosses done. Officially hit the big three zero. Wait, I think we're done with Samari now. Oh my gosh. We are making strides. Now, the first boss in Fontaine, the Quab. Quab dance. Honestly, I think this crab is gonna be a breeze. I've only fought it a few times to grab a few drops for doming, but in those few times I have fought it, it was pretty easy. Yep, that took about uh, 45 seconds if I had to guess. Off to the next one. Where is the next one? We're ignoring that narwhal for the time being because Jesus Christ, if I thought I should be scared of the wolf lord, I am terrified of the narwhal. Terrified. Oh, Hydro Tulpa? I've never actually fought this boss before. So this could end very badly. Because I think the only character in the game that needs it is Farina, right? Man, I wish I had Farina. I do. But I gotta save Primo somehow. Wait, it seriously, did it just... It even says new... Yep, new entry. <laughs> From what I'm gathering in this tiny paragraph, I've got to destroy tiny versions of it. I can do that. Oh, there's a tiny version. Okay. Oh, he's getting mad. He's getting mad mad. Too bad I'm built different. Get wrecked. That was really easy. Oh, I totally forgot about this boss. Wait, do I have to fight both versions? Do I have to fight both versions of this? Oh no, okay. I'm gonna say yes, but you know what? If I wasted my time and you guys wouldn't have cared, just let me know so I can cry about it in peace. Did you guys see that Arlecchino is gonna use the rainbow roses? I don't plan on getting her right now, but one day when she reruns, I'll have plenty of rainbow roses and they'll all be for her. 
I will do Kapalia first, and we'll do whatever the other one is second. I don't remember the name. Kapalia was easy peasy. I think they changed it. Oh, they still take three minutes to respawn. While that timer is going, let's fight the little gravity disc. I, I couldn't care to try and say the whole name. I know it's long, but this thing on the other hand, I have fought an exorbitant amount of times because there there was that one time I like, I accidentally pulled Risley. So yeah, that was so fast. 30 seconds max. That should be an... <laughs> well, that should tell you how fast I fought that boss that <laughs> this one's not even recovered yet. Is there another one? The unicorn! We'll fight the unicorn. I know that I already lost two people, but it's still going a lot better than I thought it was going to. I thought I genuinely would have already failed this challenge by now. Although this dude's electro resistance, not my friend. Not my friend at all. But Dendro is not your friend! Heck yeah! All right, what electro resistance? Oh, that, that wasn't impressive. I don't think she crit. Man, of all the times you decide not to crit Raiden, seriously? That still wasn't a crit, man. Oh, what? I got another achievement? Yo, is this an achievement hunting video or what? I know it's only been two, but when you have as many achievements as I do, two is a lot. Anyways, oh, I haven't been, oh no, I haven't been counting. I hit the big three zero with a pep, right? It was, oh no, it was 30 bosses when I finished a pep, right? Or was it when I finished Baptist? I think it was when I finished the Baptist. So 31 for Kapalia, 32 for the disc, 33 for Unicorn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say 33 right now. Anyways, that's enough time for this respawn, yeah? Yay! After this, do I only have the Narwhal? Oh no, I have the Narwhal, Wooflord, and the Sumter Beast, I think it's called. The one in Chenyu Vale. Going better than I thought, but honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna fail at either the Narwhal or the Wooflord. Whichever one I do first, honestly. <laughs> I have no ultimates up. This is kind of annoying. What does this guy do? I don't think I've ever actually fought him. Wait, does he do the same thing? Do they do the same thing as each other? Does his shield... Oh, it looked like it was repairing. I was so confused. Whatever. Either way, all done. And that should be 34. Assuming I didn't lose track too bad. Is that everyone in Fontaine? Already? All right. I'll fight the oh the suwani with only three bosses left it's kind of hard to make the decision because i'm gonna fail at two of them i like i'm sorry if i'm manifesting failure but i do not have confidence whatever we can deal with the two that i'm gonna fail at yeah. later you know I know I have Layla, and having Cryo really helps with that boss, but I didn't think it would be that fast either way. But that's 35 done. It's 36, you goofy goober, but that's okay. The final two. Oh boy. The thing about the narwhal is it takes so long. Even in co-op, this boss, you could wait for fish to respawn with how long this takes. It's just long and I hope it's just long and not difficult. Cause like I said, I always do it in co-op, which means there's four people fighting it constantly and it takes forever. I hope it only takes forever and not also makes me wanna cry, but we'll see. It wouldn't be the first time Genshin has made me cry, unfortunately. I just tanked that attack. That should tell you how much damage my Layla shield can take. Now, if anybody has some tips on how to fight this dude better, because I feel like I do nothing. I feel like I'm just poking it with a toothpick. Like, l let me know. Let me know if there's a faster way to do this. It doesn't even have to be fast, just faster, because I do not know. And now for the shield. Like, I'm just breaking the shield right now, and look how slow that bar is moving. And on top of the fact that this takes so long, I can guarantee you I'm gonna have to do it again because I can't one cycle it. I guarantee that. Oh my God, oh my God. He's doing so much damage. Oh wait, so taking out the shield already does a chunk of health to it. All right, 
Okay, I can deal with that more. Just like moderately more. But look how little damage I'm doing to it. Oh my god, and that was a crit too. Goodness gracious. Please tell me this downtime is long. Oh my god, it's not. It's not at all. What the hell? Please help me. There's just a little bit of health left. It's just a little bit. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was really scary with Sayu there for a second, but it worked. Wow, I'm so happy about that. That does make 36 though. And that does mean there is literally only one enemy left. There is one enemy left. And that is the Golden Wolf Lord. Look, I've thought long and hard about this and it was a hard decision to come to, but the Wolf Lord completely ignores shields. So strategical sacrifice. Anyways, oh no, Layla died. I guess we have to switch her out. Let's make since Ning Wong wasn't at full HP when I took her out, I'm just gonna do that because everyone else started at full HP. It'd be kind of unfair if she didn't. Nobody else gets it though. Nobody else. Okay, the final boss. I hope I can beat it. <laughs> I really hope. Don't attack, don't attack, don't attack. Frick! I wanted, I was gonna, tr I was trying to dodge. It's okay, it's okay. It is no big deal. Just do your tornado thing and I will stand just outside of the rim so it doesn't touch me. Just enough. I will wait. I will wait for it to be done. And then now he's down. Okay, back out, back out, back out. I'm so good at dodging that. Holy heck. Wow, that is the third time in a row. Can you do your other thing so I can actually beat you up? And then, yep, he falls over. Wow, he got up really fast, but that's okay. That's okay. There we go. He's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. He is doing the thing. It's time, everybody. It's time. Oh my god. Okay, it's happening. There we go. We already got one done. This is where we royally f***ed up last time. Okay. This is going fantastic. This is literally going fantastic. It's nothing. Okay. We did it. 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 Okay. Come on, don't make me do it again. Don't make me do it again. Please, 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 please. No, 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 no. Oh my god, it was a success! Okay, moral of the story, um, have more confidence in myself, I guess. It definitely wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. I panicked a few times being like, oh no, this is the end. I mean you guys saw that but it really wasn't and i feel like this just goes to show how far i've come in my account because i've been playing genshin impact for just over a year now and when i started a lot of those enemies first of all a lot of them weren't even in the game but a lot of the ones that were like the golden wolf lord like ajdaha they were absolutely terrifying bosses. I wouldn't go near them. I avoided them at all costs. And a lot of my characters didn't get leveled up because of that. But I mean, I've seen today just how easily I can fight them. And it also showed me what team comps to use. While some of the bosses can have more ideal team comps, I really need to be more creative with mine. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. And if you really liked this content, I do stream every single day on Twitch. And that would be linked in the description if you want to check that out. That being said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye!